Hi guys, today we are going to talk about the various differences between an SS modular kitchen and a wooden modular kitchen. We're going to talk about the formation through which a modular kitchen is made in SS cabinets, the advantages, disadvantages, uh, the costings, as well as the versatility of uh, the SS kitchen. So starting off with the formation. In the SS modular kitchen, the basic aspect of the box formation is bending of the SS sheets. You can use SS202 or SS304 for it. Once the sheets are bended into a square shape, they are generally filled with a rubber or EVA foils. These foils are generally used to make sure that the box becomes noise resistant. Otherwise, what's going to happen is uh, any metal, any clank uh, would create a lot of noise because it would be pure hollow steel. Uh, which you don't want in a kitchen. So wherever you're buying an SS kitchen from, you need to make sure that uh, their boxes are lined with rubber or EVA foam. Now the EVA foam is a preferred choice over rubber because EVA foam is light and hence uh, make sure that your cabinets are not too heavy and not too bulky. So go for that if you have an option from a supplier. And uh, most after these uh, sheets are boxed in, they are basically uh, screwed in together in a box formation. Now the screwing is done through rivets sometimes, sometimes through other mechanisms also. Uh, the preferred one is rivets. Generally the preferred choice for it is the rivets. Uh, they generally they, do, they make it through machines which is neat and uh, it makes sure that there are not a lot of uh, other holes and the holes are done in a precise manner for the right fittings that you would want in your kitchen. Uh, let's start with the advantages and disadvantages now of the SS kitchen. Uh, the clear advantage is that it is highly durable product. Uh, sometimes people say that it, it is prone to rust but generally SS202 or even SS304 they are highly rust resistant. Until and unless uh, you are using, you are using you're on, on a regular basis you are using uh, salty water to wash them. It's pretty much it is going to last you a lifetime. Uh, generally they can have a life of more than 30 years uh, easily in some cases. The disadvantages uh, one can say are uh, that it is, e it is not easy to alter. So let's say if you have some alterations after the kitchens has been done, you feel like some boxes needs to be altered. The alteration is really tough to do and it is going to cost you heavily. Another disadvantage is that it is mostly almost double the cost of uh, any good modular kitchen because of the expensive material that you use which is SS304 or SS202. So another major disadvantage is the options and shutters that you can take. You are able to take a good plain painted shutters on SS uh, which is a great option and they also look good actually. Apart from that, you can have uh, the steel finish, which is an industrial finish. It could be thumbprint resistant. The major options that you have is that you can paint on these shutters, and, but otherwise you can't take grains, you can't take veneers, you can't take any of the warm touches. You can take the industrial plain steel finish, uh, which is anti-fingerprint resistant. Now that's also a great finish to take, it looks pretty nice. And apart from that, you don't have a lot of finish in it. So that's one major disadvantage. Another one is that being a steel, it is actually cold to touch. So it's not always warm, specifically in the winters. Uh, you, might, you might feel a chill when you're working in the kitchen because of it, uh, because uh, they don't, uh, they become cold very easily. So that's another major disadvantage. Uh, that is also the reason why a lot of people actually prefer to have uh, steel carcasses now and take wooden shutters outside uh, so that they can have a better feel and touch of the kitchen and they have more options in the looks of the kitchen as well. In conclusion, I would like to say that actually one should go for a wooden kitchen. Uh, if you are going for an SS kitchen solely on the basis that it would be rust resistant and it would be you know, durable or resistant towards uh, a lot of wear and tear, then I would still suggest that you go for a wooden kitchen rather than an SS one. A good wooden kitchen uh, which uses Century Club Prime or uh, high grade uh, green plywood, 
they last you easily for 20 years they are highly resistant to termite they are waterproof and they have all the features to sustain you for a kitchen which is approximately has a, has a minimum life of around 20 years and it can stretch up to easily 25 in some cases if you maintain it well I would like to suggest that if you if that's the only reason you're going for an SS kitchen that uh, you know it would be the mite proof or waterproof then I would suggest there are better options uh, which would last you a better lo lifetime as well as provide you more options in hardwares due to which you'll have better access to your storage and they would also provide you a warm look in the long term. They are also much more easy to alter and to make changes if in the long term you need some changes, you need to add something. Those are some of the reasons uh, that if you're going for an SS kitchen, just for the sake that it is being rust resistant or rust proof and you know water resistant, then I would suggest you can actually go for uh, a good plywood kitchen. Apart from that, the another reason that one can go for a good plywood kitchen is because they have n number of shutter options. They are actually warm to touch and the pricing is also pretty much around 40 to 50 percent less as compared to an SS304 or SS202 kitchen. In the end I would like to say that one can actually go for a wooden modular kitchen in most cases and one should go for an SS kitchen probably when they are making sure that they want a kitchen which is maybe above the lifespan of 30 years. Thank you for watching the video, hope you liked it. Click the subscribe button below and you can share this video with other people who are hopefully making their own home and it can, might be of a good help to them.